Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 19th episode of my Black Ops 2 Attachment Guide. In this episode, we're covering the Iron Sight. It was the very first Call of Duty that saw the introduction of powerful bolt-action rifles sans scope, and it was World at War where we last saw such weapons feature in multiplayer. In Black Ops 2, the Iron Sight is introduced as an attachment, replacing the more conventional scope that you might expect on a sniper rifle. In real life, Iron Sight is a term used to refer to a sighting device on a firearm that makes use of two physical points along the bore axis to align the weapon towards a target. As the name implies, such aiming devices are usually little more than metal prongs or apertures that provide a robust means of aiming. This is opposed to optical sights, such as telescopic or reflex sights, which use lenses, crosshairs or illuminated reticles to indicate point of aim. Many weapons have built-in iron sights, with optical alternatives a later addition, but more modern designs might eschew fixed optics with a modular rail system, permitting the user's preference, optical or otherwise, in aiming device. In-game, the iron sight attachment is unique to the ballista. No other sniper rifle has this option, and any other weapon class will have iron sights by default. The attachment is incompatible with all other optics. Naturally, you cannot combine the iron sight with the variable zoom, ACOG, or dual band scope. You cannot equip the ballistic CPU with this attachment either. The iron sight's most explicit effect is the removal of the ballista's default scope, and the use of iron sights while aiming instead. These provide a far lower zoom level than the default scope's 4 times magnification. Instead, you'll retain a much wider field of view, at 1.35 times magnification. This is identical to the reflex sight, or the innate zoom level of the assault rifles. A comfortable level for mid-range engagements, although much more difficult to use precisely at a longer range. In addition, your aim time is reduced by 15% to 300 milliseconds, almost as quick as a typical assault rifle. Such a speed boost offers greater reactivity in closer quarters, lending to the mid-range roll the iron sight opens up. Finally, you'll also benefit from a 50% reduction in idle sway. And while the loss of range precision means this reduction is less advantageous, it can prove useful when lining up shots outside the iron sight's comfort zone. The iron sight is a unique attachment that opens up an entirely new style of play with the ballista. It performs in a similar manner to the KSG, with infinite range, but slower handling and smaller one-hit kill area. The broader field of view while aiming and slightly faster aim time combine to make a weapon that performs more effectively in closer quarters, making the iron sight a good choice for smaller maps. It does harm your ranged ability, however, as the sight itself will obscure more of your target, and the lower magnification makes it difficult to precisely place your shot in the one-hit kill zone of a target. Still, there's nothing else quite like it, and while it might not be the most effective attachment for the ballista, it does provide a unique challenge. So, should you wish to forge victory with this unusual option, then strike while the iron is hot. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me for the next attachment guide when I'll be covering dual wield. Until then, farewell. <laughs>